Thomas is asking, have you ever had a moment when you stopped believing in the European construction? And if so, why? What was the cause? I'm a believer in the European idea since I was 15, 16 years old. When I was in secondary school, the Jesuits uh, organized a, a, a trip with uh, boys of, uh, of schools coming from different countries. And so we made a trip together, two weeks, three weeks. We started the trip as Belgians and we left them as Europeans. Uh, so this personal contact was absolutely key. Um, and then, of course, at the end of my career, many, many years later, uh, I became president of the European Council. I strongly believe, uh, believed in the beginning and even now in the European construction because it is the only guarantee for peace and we are rewarded with the Nobel Prize for this. But of course now, for the broader public, we have to show the added value of the European construction. We have to show that it's not only a generous idea, not only that it is peace-making, but also that it can create again prosperity and growth and employment. And that is not the case today. At least this is the impression that is not the case uh, today. So in, for me it is not a question of believing or not believing, it is working. Uh, I am very determined to show by the end of my mandate that really what we did last five years was productive and we hopefully will see next year again positive economic growth and a pickup of employment so that we can say to the European people all those efforts, all those sacrifices were not made in vain, they are producing results. But as far as my personal conviction is concerned, I'm as strong European as I was when I was 15 years old.